Okay, so you're still here? You get to hear what the announcement is. I am in Oklahoma. I'm sitting out here with this wind chime, which is a reminder of my mom's beautiful life. Every time we hear the chimes, we think of her. I'm on my way to California with my sister who is moving there. So I am without Lady Bug Out, which is very weird for me. I had to leave her behind and I had basically three days to gut her and revamp her before I head to Oregon again. So you'll see the start of that in this video. Be sure to stay till the end where I have a fun announcement for you all. This is it. She's all gutted. Pretty much. I mean, there's still a few things that are in here that are just something I don't want to take out right away but this is what she looks like this was original to it so I didn't have to add it it's just screwed on here and I don't want to mess with it I just will clean it then I'll clean this and spray paint over some of these parts that have gotten scratched up now because I'm switching sides this is where the cabinets used to be and I am switching sides so that my chair that now I have over here that makes into a bed can be easily made out so that it doesn't have to be at an angle or anything like that. And it will just facilitate the flow of things here. I was going to just switch sides, but this side back here on the old cabinet had been cut in two to facilitate the water fill up. So then I was going to just buy the same one, but then I saw one and one of the things that I had always thought of before with my old one was that it would be nice to have sliding doors instead of doors that opened up this way. So I got one that does just that and it's a little smaller in dimensions lengthwise by about four inches and one inch wider. So it doesn't change the dimensions too much in the back of the van. Obviously I didn't do anything to this shelving up here cause that works great. Uh, there's nothing that I would really change on that. And these, I might do some sound deadening here. I get, did get some sound deadening uh, for this wheel well that's going to go behind the cabinet. I don't know if I'm going to do it over here because that would mean that I have to make it look pretty somehow. So I'll figure that out. Maybe I'll just do it underneath where the bed is going to be where you won't see it. And the one, the sound deadening that I got is stuff that also insulates a little bit. But I just wanted you to get a look of what it looks like. Gut head. The first time that I did the flooring because this was already here which is a rubber barrier kind of a rubber plastic thing i just kept it and figured i'd lay a area rug over it and be done with it and that worked it was very warm i never had cold feet and it somehow provided enough insulation without going all out which i would suggest if you have a rubber coating to go ahead and do that one thing though if you can see you can see it pretty well now in this lighting but it has these little rivets before i put my area rug in i am going to pad it i'll put a link of this padding it was very reasonably priced i think less than 80 dollars maybe but it will provide a little bit of cushion and hopefully will keep these ridges from showing through so much. It didn't really get that bothersome, but I thought this time, why not? I've got this out, I can do that pretty easily. And again, this is just four feet by six feet where I have this padding. So there's a little bit at the end this way and a, little, a lot at the end this way. You can see it ends right here with the platform and then it has the seats, right? I took out the this seat and this is the driver's seat 
and you can see there's an area of maybe about seven inches here. This, I don't mess with too much. I keep this pretty loose here because I pull the seat back and forward and uh, I don't want to put anything permanent behind here. I have the bench, but it starts at this line, not this line. But this, I didn't have to worry about, so I came all the way to where it meets that so that it provides a continuation of the floor over there. I have just a little area rug that covers that and then my fold-out chair that becomes a bed is also there. So that is what I do here, and I will just show you me getting that in. First things first, I am going to use this trim restorer inside where I have vacuumed and cleaned everything out to just with a rag. It's a little oily, so that's why I have it in a plastic bag. But I will go ahead and on all of the places that are plastic, uh, including the ones outside, like the door here and this, uh, just to help it stay supple and not crack or anything like that. Next up is using some of this. I had several left over from when I originally did the inside of the van. Now, when I did it originally, I taped it up all the places that I did not want to get the spray paint. Since it's only a light job, I'm not gonna worry too much. I might get a piece of cardboard that I put behind it while I do it so that it doesn't get anywhere else that I don't want it. I just got a piece of styrofoam. Wipe that off with a rag. And for that, I'm just using a nice sage smelling, nice, pretty smelling uh, all purpose cleaner to just get the dust off so that it's ready for some paint. And I probably should scuff it up a little bit so that it adheres a little better, but it's just as easy to touch it up. So I think I'll do the lazy thing. This is what it looks like. Fold it out. This is the piece that it comes in. And uh, let me measure that. So in terms of width, this is 58 inches. <laughs> and then lengthwise, it is 81 inches. So just a little, a little over six feet. So I'll just have to cut it to the dimensions of the area rug that I'm using. Which I love this area rug so much, I just rebought it. And the reason I didn't just clean my old one was because it would have taken me just as much money. This was like $89 and to rent a rug cleaner and all of that and the work that it would have been, I just decided it would be about equivalent to do that. This shows you about how much I'm gonna have to cut off for this to fit under there well. Let me, I'm gonna roll it up the other way to get the wrinkles out.
But I did start with an uh, X-Acto knife, but it's a little too thick for that. This is just easier. Open your eyes, what can you see around? Wind of the open sky Over the siren sound The beauty is that it doesn't have to be exact because it's underneath. It's just gonna be one of those things, so yay. And I might be able to use this as some kind of insulation elsewhere. But there we are now. There are two sides and one is a fluffier side, which is this one. And the other one is more like these little fuzzies don't come up so much, but I'm thinking that this is the way that it goes. But yeah, already it, it forms quite the little cush. Just pull it over here as much as possible. I also don't cut out around where I'm going to lay my cabinet because I figure everything will be the same plane then. It'll also maybe deaden the sound a little bit. This looks pretty nice. Yeah, I don't want it to come past the edge there. I'm gonna do this. Nice. This is that the little fuzzy I was talking about. If you just put your hands over this, this side fluffs up and comes off. This side does not, it's more like felt. So I'm doing it this way, thinking that this side actually feels more cushy and this feels like it'll be some kind of barrier under there anyway. So yeah, this is what this looks like. Kind of annoying, but I will have the area rug over it so it won't be doing that constantly. But it, you can see already, you can't really see the ridges that much. And then with the area rug on top of it, should hold for a while. Again, here's the thickness. That'll be in the description so you'll know the exact. I, I think I did it a half inch. They had a quarter inch and an eighth inch. Maybe this is a quarter inch. It does uh, go over this side. So I might cut that out where it hangs over here and it hangs over there a little bit but I'm not too worried my area rug also did so we'll see what that looks like and just put it in there lay it on top you don't have to fasten it or anything it will kind of be fastened with the bed frame because I put some L brackets down and then obviously the cabinet will hold it down as well but that's about it so I did end up cutting this off because I realized, and this is quite malleable, so you can put it up or down depending. It doesn't need to be a perfect cut. But I realized that my bench, if I put that back in, will need to have space to go through it. And that rug also goes over that. So it shouldn't overlap too much. And I think the area rug actually comes out this way. So I'd rather have that come out and be able to go through that nicely. Then I should be able to just go like this and have it come out. And I'll put the boards, some boards back there so that it flattens out some more. So you can get a feel for what this looks like. That is how it looks on the edge here. I think I will have to just cut that little bit off, but otherwise it fits like a glove. Again. Four by six area rug. So this is the part that I cut out along here. And then this will just go over it like this. We'll see what this has to do. This might have to be cut off too, but it looks good. Okay, so you're still here. You get to hear what the announcement is. I'm on Gutted. And if you don't know what that is, go check it out at the Gutted event on Instagram. It's fun. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. This is a dream, getting the royal scar Holding a diamond blade, throwing it far
Hold your breath still You jump the fire We'll just sit and wait till You see me fly You know they'll never catch me for it you see me fly. The way I put my finger on it you see me fly. 